Good morning, happy Friday. Freddie Miller here, fired up, excited. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm in Orlando, Florida, headed to a meeting. Hope you guys are great. Hope you guys are fired up, excited. What's going on? Let me know where you guys are checking in from. I got a few minutes here before I arrive to my destination, but uh, I know it's gonna be an amazing day. I know it will be for you guys too if you decide it to be, but let me know where you guys are checking in from. Like I said, Orlando, Florida, Omaha, North Carolina, Chicago, where else? Yes, I love it. Where else, where else? Not sure if you guys can, I don't know if the reception here is really good. New Orleans, Peru, Lima. Love it. Where else, guys? Love it. Love it. Well, guys, thanks for all the hearts. Thanks for all the shares. You know, last night I was in, um, I was with some uh, individuals talking about different leadership topics and whatnot. And um, one of the things that, um, one of the phrases that I heard yesterday, which I think was pretty powerful. And uh, again, for me, in, in, in my case, I've heard before, but it's great to get, to hear, refresh and hear different things. And that phrase was, leaders don't see how things are, but rather how they can become. And guys, you know, it doesn't matter what level of leadership you're at, whether you are starting out uh, from scratch and you're starting something in your local market, whether you have something going on, you know, all across North America, maybe across, uh, maybe globally, you know, into Europe, Asia, South America, right? It doesn't matter exactly um, how big or small what you're doing, what your project is. As a leader, you definitely, uh, you know, have to see things how they can become. That's called vision, right? You gotta have a vision for what it is you wanna do. You know, I can look back to, you know, last year when I made a big decision, a tr big transition after uh, being with a company, being very successful and, you know, had to make, uh, take a different path, right? And, um, you know, a lot of people criticize me and whatnot. Uh, and I only share this with you, not because of anything else, but because people didn't understand my vision. People didn't understand what I saw. And, and I share it in my perspective because I think that no matter where you're at right now, you've got to see something a lot more, right? You got to, you got to see more than what it currently is. You got to see something bigger. There's got to be something that you see potential in. And so, you know, you know, I think it's, um, Stephen Covey, uh, author of the seven habits of, uh, highly effective people. He says, begin with the end in mind, right? And seeing things as they can become, or they can be is, is, it's basically casting a vision, you know, seeing the end, you know, beginning with the end in mind is seeing yourself there, what it is you want to do, right? And even though you're not there, even though you might not be close, even though a lot of things may have to happen before that happens, that's that's what vision's all about, right? That's what leaders do. They cast that vision. They 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 they, they share what they can what they see if everything can come together, if, if we can collaborate, if we can work, if we put forth the effort, if we impact lives, if we do what we can do best. Um, and we're consistent and we're persistent, this is what could happen. And so I share that with you because guys, what you believe in life becomes your reality. And uh, you know, no one can change that for you, except yourself. And I think uh, as a leader or an aspiring leader, uh, you know, if you don't have that vision, guys, you gotta borrow it from someone. Because at the end of the day, that's what people buy. That's what people buy into. That's what people lock into. And uh, you can share it, you can kill it, you cannot do it right. It's a choice. I'm just telling you, the reason, one of the reasons people follow leaders, apart from example and many other things, is that vision they cast. And so remember, it's not where you're at right now. It's where you decide you're going to be. The past does not equal the future. You are, uh, you're in control of your destiny, right? You're in control of what happens and what doesn't, because you can decide. You can act. You can do that. And uh, when you have that vision. When you can paint the picture, guys, most people, they don't know where they're going. They're not inspired. They have no hope. They have no, you know, they really have no desires because they've given up on life. They've had so many failures. They've had so many things happen. And you know, it's not that those that have given up have more failures than those that have not given up. 
uh, but they just haven't had that mentor, somebody to inspire them, somebody to, 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 to paint the picture of what's possible, what the future looks like, what they can accomplish, what they can do. And so my challenge to you today on this Friday, you know, I know a lot of you guys are aspiring leaders because if you're a network marketer, uh, that's what we do, right? We lead. And again, uh, we have, all of us have different desires, um, you know, based on our beliefs. Uh, we believe we can do more or less at the current moment. Obviously, that could change uh, with with um, with training, with um, maybe um, maybe uh, you know experience and whatnot. I share this with you because, guys, you know, dream big, guys, dream big. Look at your current situation right now, and no matter what's happened, even if things have not worked out the way you want. I hate to say press the reset button because I use that a lot, but press the reset button, guys. Start from scratch. Remember when you got started, what was it that caught your attention? What did you want to accomplish? Maybe things are going well, but maybe you're not dreaming big enough. So dream a little bit bigger. Stretch yourself. You know, there's a, a gentleman by the name of Grant Cardone who's, uh, you know, popped into the scene recently. He's got a bunch of books. He's got a book called 10X. And he believes, you know, we never really ever achieve our goals or, you know, what we what we hit. You know, we always miss it. So he says, if that's true, then do this 10 times it, 10 times the activity, you know, that it takes to reach your goal and then 10 times what you expect to achieve, because even if you miss it, you you far surpass what you really wanted to do. And so, guys, I, I believe mindset is everything. What you believe becomes your reality. But leadership is all about casting that vision. Leadership is all about seeing what's possible and painting that picture to other people. And my challenge to you today is step up, guys. You know, there's so much lack of leadership in the world. And sometimes I check myself out because I think that I'm not operating at my full potential. And, uh, you know, that's part of life, right? That's the ups and downs. That's, uh, that's, part, of, um, that's part of the journey, right? And um, I think it's uh, uh, Les Brown that says, no test, no testimony, no guts, no glory. A setback is a setup for a comeback. I think everything in life happens for a reason. Our job is to decipher, to, to, to figure out what it is, learn from it, and come back stronger. Come back, come back and inspire more, uh, you know, impact more, and uh, leave a bigger legacy than what we set out for in the beginning. So my challenge for you guys is to, you know, think big, Find out what it is you want, 10 exit, and guys, go out there and freaking do it. There's no substitute for action. Uh, you know, if you have to figure out, if something's holding you back, guys, either let it go, find someone who can help you let it go, or you know what? Confront it, man. <laughs> Just freaking go at it. And uh, someone's gonna win, right? And move forward, guys. There's, uh, you know, I, I heard a phrase a while back that uh, is always relevant and it always pops up in, in times when I need it. And that phrase is very simple. You might not get it right now, but if you hear it and it stays in your mind, eventually it'll hit you like a rock, right? And uh, this, this phrase is, time is passing, nothing is changing. Think about that. Time is passing, nothing is changing. Obviously, as Jim Rohn says, for things to change, you've got to change. For things to get better, you've got to get better. Don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. My hope for you is that um, apart from dreaming big, you get better in the process, you take action, and you change a lot of lives, and ultimately, live the big dream and the possibilities that you can have in network marketing. Because guys, network marketing is a vehicle, and uh, you know, we have the ability to impact so many lives, and it's one of the most validating things I've ever done in my life. And uh, my journey, even though it's been a 17 year journey, I've only just begun. So uh, get ready for big things. Fired up, excited. Peace out from Orlando, Florida. Maybe I'll periscope a little bit later because I'll be uh, around some uh, some great people. And uh, maybe I'll uh, share some great nuggets from people that I meet if I think I have something of value. If not, I'll summarize it later on today. So take care, God bless. From Orlando, Florida, the Fredster. Peace out. Happy Friday. Crush it, baby.